Since SO4 2 minus is an ion, the sulfate ion, we need to be careful when we talk about whether it's polar or nonpolar. Let's look first at the Lewis structure for SO4 2 minus, then its molecular geometry, and finally we'll look at the polarity. We have two Lewis structures here for the SO4 2 minus ion. Structure has two double bonds. The negative charges are on the oxygens with the single bond, and that makes sense because the overall charge of the sulfate ion is negative too. One thing to understand is that there are six main resonance structures for SO4 2 minus. The only difference is that the double bonds are in different positions. The experimentally observed molecule would be an average of these bonds, so we would have bonds of 1.5. According to Vesper theory, these oxygen atoms will spread out and then the ion will have a tetrahedral molecular geometry. So if this is our central sulfur atom and we add four oxygen atoms, they'll spread out. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, and they spread out to a tetrahedral molecular geometry. If we use double bonds, we'd have the same effect. They'd spread out and it would be tetrahedral. Same goes for two double and single bonds. That's important because tetrahedral arrangements are symmetrical. Because the SO4 2 minus ion symmetrical, there are no positive or negative sides to the surface of the ion. That means that there's no poles, and if there are no poles, it's nonpolar. But wait, we know that compounds that contain the SO4 2 minus ion, they dissolve in polar substances like water, and many people find this confusing. If the sulfate ion is nonpolar, how can it dissolve in a polar substance? It's sort of like adding oil to water. In general, nonpolar and polar substances don't mix. The key to understanding why this can happen is that while the SO4 2 minus ion is nonpolar, it does have an overall charge of minus 2, and that's distributed equally on the four oxygen atoms. That means that the sulfate ion itself will interact with the negative and positive poles of a polar substance. That explains why, even though it's nonpolar, the SO4 2 minus ion can dissolve in water. This is Dr. B with the polarity of the SO4 2 minus ion, and thanks for watching.